So I was recently taking a ride in an Uber, and next to me was sitting a student at a conventional medical school. And we started talking about things and exchanged what we were up to. And he said that he had recently gotten acupuncture, and his conclusion was that it was questionable in terms of its efficacy or its results long term for him. So for him, acupuncture didn't really work. And I don't know if he was trying it just to try it and see what it was like, or if he was trying it for a medical condition. But in this video, I want to share what happens when acupuncture doesn't work and what to do about it. Hey, I'm Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day, current doctoral student in traditional or classical Chinese medicine. Now, I've also included a free download and infographic on five Chinese medicine practices to add 10 years to your life. So it's the first link right there in the description box, alexhine.com forward slash free. If you click that and download, it'll be sent right to your email. So what happens when you try acupuncture and it doesn't work? Well, I've shared my story here before many times that acupuncture for me was not love at first sight. And the majority of people that gave me acupuncture for a specific health problem where I needed results did not get me results. It only took me, you know, probably six practitioners, the minority, to find two exceptional practitioners that were really just head and shoulders above the others. And so what I find is that Chinese medicine is heavily skill dependent. And it's not a matter of going to every acupuncture or Chinese medicine doctor. It's not all the same because it's not really standardized. So there are two things to consider. If you still need help with a medical condition, you didn't get results from acupuncture when someone referred you there and you're kind of like, now what? So the first thing is to keep in mind that results are the most dependent on the practitioner. So even though as Chinese medicine doctors or acupuncturists, we have a national licensing exam, I have four boards I have to take. Currently herbs, acupuncture, basic medical theory, and biomedicine, which is similar to conventional Western medicine. Even though we take those, ironically, Chinese medicine is not standardized. The standardized form we have to learn for school is not the most effective form of Chinese medicine. It's kind of what had to be the group consensus for us to be licensed. The best practitioners I've ever found were ones with a strong lineage that they had been taught down or an oral tradition. Now, it seems crazy that even in this day and age with research and double-blind placebo studies that an oral tradition would be valuable, but the oral tradition is really people passing on for hundreds of years. We've seen this work. We've seen this not work. So go with what works. And I find that the best practitioners that got me results, again, remember, this was not for relaxation. This was not for a spa treatment. I had 29 years of digestive illness that are now gone. And because of meeting a practitioner that had that skill with herbs. So for me, you know, sometimes you find one practitioner that treats a problem through the liver and the other one will treat it through the kidney. Completely different treatment approach. And that difference may not be in a textbook anywhere in the world. It may be their clinical experience, may be their lineage, that their mentor, the physician that taught them said, I find that it doesn't work when you treat it like that, but when you treat it like this, it does work. The second thing to consider is to find someone that knows herbal formulas well. I'm personally very biased towards herbal formulas because I have a natural interest and inclination in them. And also it was the only thing that worked to resolve a 29 year digestive illness. And I'd seen all the Western doctors. I'd been through a lot of different alternative practitioners. And the only thing I cared about was results. That's it. I wanted my problems gone. And one practitioner was good enough to do that. And so I'm obviously biased towards herbal formulas because I find that you can get a very high rate of success, including clinical remission of symptoms using herbal formulas in conjunction with acupuncture. So if you're not getting results, find someone who's skilled with Chinese herbal formulas specifically with Chinese herbal formulas and not someone who's giving you just generic supplements like fish oil or these 5-HTP melatonin combinations to sleep. Find someone that truly knows Chinese herbal formulas well. And that's been my experience in terms of those practitioners tend to not only be very highly educated and very skilled, the added modality of using herbs is, has been one of the bread and butters of Chinese medicine 
for over 2,000 years. So why not use what's been time-tested the most? So I hope that helps. That's my opinion and my two cents on why acupuncture works or doesn't work. Highly dependent on the individual. And sometimes you just need to see another person in the same field that sees it differently or has more experience or different experience. So again, if you'd like to download that free infographic, Five Chinese Medicine Practices to Add 10 Years to Your Life, it's the first link in the description. Also, you can check out my recent related videos right there and right there.